the star of our show, Mike Waltz. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How many of you have had a Christmas card already? Now, the thing about your character is he, uh, he's, he's a very brash guy. He's got the, what I call the traditional Australian sort of spirit, hasn't he? That we mm. like to think of ourselves as on the screen. He's a get-up-and-go guy. Mm. Right. Well, he's, he's a bit uh, sly. Yeah. He's a kind of underhanded at times, but yeah. uh, good underneath, I hope. Yeah. But even, <laughs> even so, very innocent. I think that was an interesting thing. Yeah. I mean, that character today is far more complicated. Although he puts on a front of being very tough and yeah. very knowing, once you see him in Egypt, I mean, he knows practically nothing. Yeah. Well, it, it is interesting that uh, the, the innocence is, I think, the thing that with young audiences is going to come really out because they're going to look at it and think, gosh, those guys were naive. But they... Well, uh, yeah, I, I know why, because we're talking about football. Indeed. Right? Yes? Melbourne, yes. see my colours, my team. Melbourne, Melbourne, the demons. Yeah. Uh, you, you, uh, what, what actually did you do in this report? What was the idea of it? Well, Aussie Rules is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And That's a few right. weeks ago, there was a very successful match played in New South Wales. Right. Time. So we thought we'd find out what the people in the street thought about Aussie Rules becoming, say, a national sport. Yeah. Uh, pros and cons there. And also what, uh, whether the footballers were sex symbols for the ladies that go along to see it, you see. I think they are, because when I mentioned footballers at the top of the show, there was a distinct... <laughs> 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 